Hey y'all, you got Doug Gore, Dougie Doo here with Cajun Softwash. I wanted to talk today about uh, complaining customers. What do you do about complaining customers? Um, the first thing I think is really, really important is that when somebody calls you with a complaint, deal with it as quickly as possible. Try to get to them as quick as possible. Try to defuse the situation, figure out what it is, and, and just deal with it as quickly as possible. I think for most people, it's not what it's really about is knowing that you're going to take care of it. Uh, even if it takes two weeks to get to where you can actually take care of it, get out there as quick as you can to help reassure them and let them know, hey, we're a good quality company, we're a professional company, we're going to take care of you, that's all there is to it. Um, so the second part of it is, for me, the biggest part of it, okay? Sometimes when you go out and a customer has complained, you go out and you do what you can to make it right, and then they start nitpicking, okay? They start nitpicking at every little thing, every little thing, okay? The important part of that for me is to remember, if we hadn't given them a reason to complain in the first place, they wouldn't be nitpicking. That's why you always hear me saying, do a superb job every time. Do the best job you can every single time. Do every job like it's the, the most important job that you have because if you do something, if you mess something up and they complain, you really, it's, th that's when the nitpicking starts. You ever heard the old saying that um, it's hard to beat a first impression kind of a thing? So when they get that impression that you miss something, then they start seeing the other things, the, anything that might be negative to them, even though it's not really a negative, okay? So in today's example, uh, I had a lady call and she was complaining about her windows. Um, they were streaked up and she said they were streaked up really bad, okay? So I went ahead, I was 10 minutes, 15 minutes away, so I went ahead and stopped what I was doing and went there. The point about this for me, too, was it seems like I've had a rash of this lately where people call me months after the fact and say something happened, okay? And so this lady was actually about probably two months ago when we actually cleaned her house. But still, I mean, you know, hey, streaks on the windows, I'll go take care of it. So I get out there, and the windows were extremely streaked up. And the funny part is they're only streaked up where... The, they're the there's three tiers of windows. The bottom section of windows, which were about a foot, foot and a half high, and you could literally kick them, um, those were fine. The next set of windows, which went up to about, I'm going to say, seven, seven feet, they were all streaked up. Then the next set of windows, which were just above that and went up to probably 12 feet, 15 feet, 13 feet, somewhere in there, um, they were just fine. So it was only the windows. Okay, you, you know it's not your fault at that point. So I told the lady, I said, hey, I'll, I'll take care of it. But I, don't, I, don't have, I didn't bring any of my equipment with me because I wasn't planning on I mean, I wasn't, you know, when I came out here, I was, all, I was already on the road, so I didn't have any equipment with me. I said if I had some dry rags, I could take care of that. And then that's when she proceeded to tell me, dry rags aren't going to take care of it. Um, my house cleaning lady, she went out there and she used this and she used that and she used this and she used that. She used all kinds of stuff and couldn't get those clean. Okay, so basically what she just told me is that it's not my fault, as I said in the beginning. I mean, I never told her that. But still, I dealt with it, okay? And this is where I know that people are going to vary, okay? So a lot of you guys are probably going to say, oh, man, I'd have walked away from it right there. We have an extremely high repeat customer and, and referral base, and, and this is why. It's those little things, little details that you do. I went way over and above and beyond with this lady, um, but nonetheless, maybe there was some little streaking and they felt like, you know, and so they went out and, and tried to clean it and just kept making it worse. Two months later, though, yeah, yeah. anyhow, and they had an upcoming wedding. So I wanted to make sure I did what I could because for me, it's about the referral. When I got done with the windows, I went inside and she started nitpicking about <clears throat> how they still look streaked. 
And so I showed her that the streaks that she was seeing was actually inside, not outside. Okay. And so, you know, she's nitpicking, and I show her. I still went over and above and beyond, and I was stopping there. I wasn't going any further. And I, I basically, I let her know, you know, if you get these inside windows clean and there's still stuff on the outside, give me a call. Okay. For me, it's about the referrals. I went way over what I needed to do. I agree with that, but I'm, I'm going to do it probably every single time. Um, but my point again, and now that I'm getting off on my rant like I normally do, deal with your complaints as quickly as you can do the best job every time so that you can not get those complaints anyhow and then sympathize with them when they start nitpicking instead of getting upset because if we had done the right job the first time they wouldn't have anything to nitpick us about that's my point in my little video here today i appreciate you all for listening to me and dougie do out